What's going on, YouTube? Bryce Crispy94 here, bringing you another Icons of the Realms opening. And we are back today with the Icons of the Realms Elder Brain, yeah, Elder Brain Premium Set. Now, uh, this set purchase was definitely inspired by Baldur's Gate 3, Elder Brain, Mind Flayers, hand in hand. Um, won't say anything else there, but uh, I do like that they are releasing these kind of like adventure sets. I think there's a Were at Den one um, as well. Uh, the box, nothing really to it. Kind of cool. Um, on the back, it shows you all the contents and says, hey, buy Volos. Uh, I think Volos on the side. You can kind of see it there. And then um, the cover of Volos Guide to Monsters, actually, is on that side. Oh, that's, that's Morden Kynan, and that's Volo. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, it's from the Volos and Morden Kynan's foes. It's not the Monsters of the Multiverse set. I was going to say, I thought this was an older one. That's my bad. Um, anyway, it comes with some lag types. Let me get all of these out. We'll go over kind of the accessories before we go over the actual Elder Brain. I apologize if this is very loud because it's very loud in my ear. Get rid of that. And I'll set that over okay, so it does come with an array of stalactites and pillars. We have two stone crumply pillars, which are kind of cool. Uh, then you have the two double stalactites and the one stalagmite. I am always a fan of accessories, so super happy to have these. Uh, and for $40, they feel almost free because where's the Elder Brain? The Elder Brain is a chonky miniature, uh, especially from the WizKids line. $40 does not seem like a bad deal. Um, I love the base that the Elder Brain is in. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the pool. I've seen different depictions, you know, the belt playing down there. This was also miniaturely inspired by Lost Minds of, not Lost Minds of Fendelver, sorry, the new book, Fendelver and Below. Um, it's fantastic. I haven't got my physical copy yet, but I do have the pre-order uh, digital copy that I've been reading through, and it really expands on the Last Minds campaign uh, and reworks the Last Mind campaign. It makes some things a little better. A little easier a little harder in some areas as well um so it, it gives a little fresh take on the adventure um so that's my little spiel on that so let's talk about the actual miniature again um a lot of detail here um I, I do enjoy the fact that it's not just on like a clear base or a black base it's on like a sculpted base this it's um don't have anything close by with a large base it's bigger than a large base but i don't believe it's a huge base so that's interesting but i do believe it's only supposed to be a large let's consult the google real quick to see that elder brain it is a large so the base is a little bit bigger than a large which is a little little sad but eh, i get it sometimes you do kind of got to go in that i almost feel that there should be a size in between large and huge uh, same with small and medium or sorry large and uh medium because you have some creatures that look weird on a medium base because it's too small like a basilisk that's my number one example um but yeah other than that it's really cool a lot of colors i uh, love the kind of like symbiote look of it i'm looking at a the fifth edition art and i mean it is it is pulled straight from the fifth edition art which i love when they do that they're when they're super exact with it um but yeah so I think I did get it for I think $40 on Amazon. Sorry, my desk is so messy. I didn't realize before I hit the record button. Uh 
but yeah, forty dollars on Amazon, not a bad deal in my opinion. Uh, especially since I think the set will be kind of sought after for those people maybe doing the new book flash uh, because of the Baldur's Gate 3 popularity that's currently happening. Uh, Mind Flayers play a big role in the game and the new book. So, I mean, know the brain if you're going to do stuff with Mind Flayers. Uh, but that's going to wrap this one up, obviously. This was my favorite mini, and these are all just kind of scenery that do feel like not really thought out extras. Like they could have added maybe some more brain pools, or it could have came with a couple intellect devourers, or maybe even a couple mind flayers. Would have made the deal a little bit better. Uh, like I could have had the two pillars, maybe two of these, and then I mean, just maybe a mind flayer there instead of these two, or. You know, instead of these two, two mind flayers or one mind flayer and two intellect about, you know, just kind of really sell the uh, encounter uh, that they were going for here. Uh, and I think the, the new encounter sets, because those are newer sets, are a little more uh, detailed, but I think they cost a little bit too much, which is why I haven't purchased any to review because I just don't. I can print all that way cheaper. Um, yeah. Gonna wrap this one up here, rambling on a little bit. Uh, nice short little review of the Elder Brain. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will be back next week for a miniature painting video. Peace.